Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm referred to as the Big Game Hunter because I've been hunting down leaders and staff organizations for more than 40 years. Now, I've been doing a number of videos about second and final interviews, and I've covered a lot of data in these. So if you haven't seen them, come to the Big Game Hunter TV, watch the playlist on second interviews. I think it'll help you a lot. There's one thing I haven't really covered yet. I've done it with general interviews, but I haven't done it with second and final interviews. And that's the notion of what is a firm really looking for? What do they want to see from you that's going to cause them to choose you versus your competitors? And you know you have competitors on these jobs, right? So <clears throat> at the end of the day, firms are looking for competence, but They've already covered that during the earlier rounds of interviews, right? They're looking for self-confidence. Do you have confidence in yourself and how does that project itself? Because when you're confident in your abilities, they start to pick up on that vibe and they start to feel confident in your abilities. Too often, people arrive nervously and cause the interviewer to pick up on that feeling and you know, become hesitant uh, because the nerves in them make the interviewer nervous and thus they become uncomfortable with the candidate. So self-confidence and how you express that in your manner become very important. What's the easiest way to express it? I'll show you. <laughs> with a, a big smile on your face, starting off with the initial handshake, and as you start answering questions, I'm going to be serious here for a second. Now, you're sitting in the chair answering questions. You have a smile on your face. And as you start to talk, you start from going with a smile until dropping into a very serious look on your face. That lets people get a sense of the range of expressions that you have and the range of your emotions so that they can see clearly that you know BS that you're certain in what you're saying, because that certainty, that confidence that oozes out as you talk with them about your ability, both from a serious perspective and with a smile on your face as well, and when appropriate, you can laugh at something that's been said by them or by you. You can laugh at yourself and, and some of the mistakes that you've made. But that self-confidence is a big part of why people get hired. Also, it's chemistry with the interviewer. Now, sometimes, you know, chemistry can be sideswiped. It can be sabotaged. The interviewer is a little distracted because of other things. So, remember, if you're in an inter interview and you have the idea that you're losing the interviewer, uh, you notice their eyes are all over the place. Um, that they seem off in thought as they're listening to your answers. They don't have the correct flow of the conversation, like they're a half measure or a full beat behind when you would expect them to speak. You can simply say, I get the idea that you're a little distracted. Would it be better if we did this on another occasion? And then come back when you have their full attention. Often they'll say, no, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay. Or they'll say, yeah, I'm a little caught in thought, so thank you. Um, and they'll, you'll pull them back in because it's hard to get them to want to hire you if they're distracted, right? You know, they're thinking about other things. They're not paying attention. So recognize that happens as well. So they're looking for competence, self-confidence, character maybe, character. They want to get a sense of your honesty and integrity. And that can come across in how you tell stories about situations that you were involved with that involve some different sets of circumstances. Chemistry between yourself and the interviewer or how they expand on that to think about the people you'd be working with. Maybe a little charisma. You know, and that's just in your manner. That self-confident manner goes a long way toward being uh, demonstrating that you're the right person to be chosen. All in all, they are looking for leaders. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're a staff individual. They're looking for leaders among those staff people. It's the person whose self-confidence allows them to trust you, to believe in you, to, to note your certainty of yourself, and thus trust you that they will never have to worry about you in this role. 
So I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. Visit my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us, and go exploring. There's a lot there that you can watch, listen to, and read. It'll help you find work more quickly. Also, if you want to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, see that little button in the corner? Click it. You'll subscribe to my channel. You'll get notices whenever I do a new video for YouTube. And if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. I accept connection requests from people worldwide, except if you look like a spammer or scammer, except if you're a third-party recruiter. I'm Jeff Alpin. Hope you have a great day. Take care.